Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is January 2021. We are in a brand new year. And so far into 2020 and into 2021, the channel in and of itself seems to be doing quite well. There were some touch and go moments starting back in December of 2019 when apparently YouTube was all concerned about the COPPA enforcement by the FTC. That is the Child Online Privacy Protection Act. And I don't know what sort of tweak they did to the AI, but the channel did not grow at all from December of 2019 until May of 2020, which means I lost out on about anywhere from 600 at the lowest to as many as 1,000 subscribers within that five-month period, which was uh, very disappointing. And we were kind of worrying about the state of YouTube. But for some reason, in May of 2020, things just started turning around. So the health of the channel is doing quite well. Now, there are some videos that seem to do seem to be doing better than others. I did try to get back into playing some Civilization VI. And if you guys have ever been curious as to maybe, you know, why does the channel grow so slow in comparison to other creators and so forth? And that is because the formula really for YouTube is to pick a genre and kind of stick with it. So, for example, if I had just stuck with, say, like, Civ and, and first-person shooters like Call of Duty and, and Battlefield and just stayed within the gaming genre, then that would probably garnish a little bit more attention versus jumping into something as controversial as politics and current events because these, are, these can be very big turnoffs for individual people, especially gamers, because everyone plays games, but not everyone is really into politics or current events. So... When it comes to gaming, gamers like their gaming. They want you as a creator to stick to those, uh, you know, to stick to gaming, hang in there, and you know, talk about the game and so forth. So, then of course, on occasions, I'll do some convention work, like I do with Dragon Con. Now, I've not been since 2016. And then I also do reviews, and that's just because that's just me. That's just my personality. I suppose you could say I'm very eccentric, and I just like dabbling in all sorts of different things and so here on the channel kind of my philosophy has always been that if it's something I like it's and, and what I want to share with people that's really what I create here versus like if I were a gaming channel strictly then I would focus everything on that game I focus on all the details and aspects and you know all of the analysis and so forth of that particular game but I'm just kind of a casual kind of uh, individual who just enjoys a little bit of everything but so far the channel has been doing quite well you guys have been fantastic so as far as the direction into this year I may try to do some more live events I know you guys apparently you guys seem to like live events I'm not <laughs> well I'm not sure why I, I really I mean it's kind of it can be kind of challenging to do live recording I don't mind it. For example, I got some live streams that I've done recently, obviously pertaining to uh, the election, which was, you know, obviously uh, everyone was keeping an eye on all of that and what's going on. But I think that once uh, the establishment status quo surrogate Biden corporatist is put into place, I'm not sure how much of, uh, of that people are really going to be all that interested in outside of maybe some individuals that want to see me kind of take take Biden and the administration to task. But we'll see kind of what direction that goes in. I've actually considered not doing Friday vlogs anymore, which would be really, really strange. I'm sure all of you would be really wondering why I haven't done any Friday vlogs. I personally enjoy playing Civ 6. It's, it's a game that I really enjoy a lot. And I don't mind covering it. I do like covering it. I know it is a turn-based strategy game. So maybe first-person shooter types, Call of Duty, or even individuals that are still here from, say, H1Z1, Just Survive. You know, it's a different game strategy. It's a different genre of game. It's, it's, it's not like high pace activity that's going on and so forth. But it's one I like to play because it's relaxing. I can just sit back and play it, enjoy it kind of commentate on it as it goes along there, there's no rush for anything i'm not having to like say if i'm playing say for example if i'm playing a first person shooter there's so much going on while you play and it really requires a lot more concentration than say if you're just relaxing and doing a turn-based strategy game but um i might try to do some more a lot more live stuff i'll get into some of that maybe a little bit later in, in a friday vlog but what i wanted to tell you is so far the channel is doing quite well i do want to emphasize uh 
very much ways that you can help the channel in, in the simplest non-invasive kind of way because I don't normally like to ask uh, you guys to do anything in particular. The only thing I'll ask you, for example, is here in the banner, if you come to the main page, you'll see I have an Amazon link right here. If you are an Amazon Prime user or if you use Amazon, you order things on Amazon with any frequency, then I would encourage you to use the channel link to my influencer page and just go about and order your regular products, watch your TV programs, listen to your eBooks, get your eBooks, order whatever it is that you order from here, and I get a very small commission. So every little bit you guys do helps. Now, if you're a little bit more into <laughs> direct uh, donations, I have this help support the channel here. And of course, when I do live streams, I do have a super chat there, which makes it equally as easy to also donate to the channel. So um, those are just kind of ways that you can help help me out as a creator because things have, have been very challenging, at least for many of us within the last three years, at least. Also, I really want to stress uh, the importance of perhaps following me on alternative sites such as Gab. You guys are very familiar with any of you who watch my Friday vlogs on what's going on. I can anticipate that we're going to see more of this type of censorship, suppression, and so forth from the main uh, social media sites because now, as I mentioned, with the newest establishment status quo government that we're going to have, you're going to see more pressure on media. You're going to see more pressure on social media, particularly from the establishment because they want to make sure that no one can shut them down. So they may, they would rather go after the people that are that are causing irritation or annoyances to the community, than say going after uh, a Jack Dorsey or a Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, I, you know, I would really be surprised if we ever see Jack or or even uh, Zuckerberg back uh, before Congress again, at least until 2022. So another of the video hosting sites that I use quite often is BitChute. Now. BitChute uh, pretty much functions very much like YouTube. It's uh, It has its limitations. Its search capabilities need to be tweaked a little bit more. It doesn't have any live broadcasting or streaming just yet. But as for hosting videos, we, we can come on here and I can say things that I can't say on YouTube, right? So I can talk about the pandemic by its actual name. I can name certain people that you guys are familiar with that were banned from other uh, or have been banned from social media platforms and stuff. I can mention all their names. I can talk about whatever I want to talk about. So I've thought about doing just exclusive content on BitChute as well, like just like a dedicated video just for BitChute. Hopefully soon, Parlay will be coming back. John Matz right now is uh, in, you know, has filed a lawsuit against Amazon for breach of contract. So of course, with anything legal, there's always a back and forth of, of, uh, you know what the breach entails and whether or not uh, Amazon didn't meet up to their obligations and all that kind of stuff so we'll just kind of keep an eye on that but he made a little post here the other day actually I someone had posted it on MeWe and uh, this was what we saw he did tell us to come back on Tuesday but uh, this was actually on Saturday uh, January the 16th when he uh, posted this up and I saw it on MeWe someone had posted it up I joined Parlay on MeWe so I could keep up with some of the Parlay community also on Minds, Minds is kind of like a Twitter slash Facebook. Pretty nice page. And uh, with Minds, as well as BitChute, and I'll get into Odyssey here in just a moment, they all use their own form of cryptocurrency. So say, for example, um, I earned the little, little Minds tokens here. Now, if I went through all the trouble of setting up an exchange and all that kind of stuff, I could actually get Ethereum or Bitcoin for... You know the amounts that I have here as far as tokens and stuff but um you guys are always welcome to follow me on mines which is a great little site really cool little community functions very easily very smooth uh, easy to use interface and I probably should tell a lot of you guys this is that uh, you're probably gonna find more of a centrist Green Party uh, classic liberal conservative Republican type individuals and of course you will look occasionally come across some of the more fervent right-wingers but um usually they're dealt with um you know pretty quickly as well because they don't want the community to be to be disrupted so and in a non-centralized or a centralized 
site is Rumble. And I kind of like Rumble for its functionality. Rumble is partnered with MTV, Xbox, uh, Yoohoo. I keep saying Yoohoo, the drink. Yahoo <laughs> and Microsoft. Did I, did I say Xbox? And what I like about Rumble is I can post a lot of my gaming video shorts on here. Because everything on Rumble, and I, I would suggest this to any of you guys. If you guys do like short little video clips or funny little videos or you're not really like a major YouTube creator where, you know, you're pumping out a, a five, eight minute video, but you but you like taking video, like shooting videos. I mean, there's people on here that have videos of, of them just kind of doing a, a camera sweep of a lake or mountain or some kind of scenery like to use it for B-roll. So what I like about Rumble is I can post like any and everything I do video wise and here let me give you an example um, you know like like right here just you know it's just somebody who's filmed a dog and they're running an escalator it's 13 seconds long and they've already made $15.16 on this so if you do any of this kind of you know simple video type stuff um, like on Instagram or your TikTok or whatever apps jump on Rumble get on Rumble and um, and do that and I would, I would say this too, here on Rumble, we have, what I need to do is I need to give you guys like a referral, like the referral link. But I think if you come to my page and then sign up, it will count as a referral. So you can see here, I've got a couple people that have signed up just from referrals that either from a link or they went to my page and, and they just signed up. So you can see that like the Lost History channel here, uh, Sinzoba, that's a guild mate of mine. And I don't, I'm not... Oh, I think this is a schoolmate of mine right here. And then, of course, we have Odyssey, which is very similar to BitChute. But what I like about Odyssey is that it it migrated every single one of my videos from YouTube. It took about six and a half hours. All 800 videos that I have on YouTube are over here now on Odyssey. And on many of these sites, you can still you can always find me by Buzzweaver. The only site that is different, and you guys don't have to join here. You don't have to follow me here, but DTube is the only one I had to change because this is a this is obviously a what they call a blockchain. It's part of the cryptocurrency family, which is part of Steemit, and they use uh, their own their own currency as well that uses an exchange, and you can exchange the currency for uh, real life money and so forth so you got to join an exchange and the exchange has to join a bank account the exchange does the conversion the conversion goes to the the account uh, management uh, company that you use and then it goes directly into your bank account but on DTube my name is Buzzweaver YouTube because what happened was I joined Steemit and because it's cryptocurrency key it has a cryptocurrency key I didn't save it and I was having a problem with face oh, Facebook I was having a problem with Firefox and I ended up uninstalling and deleting Mozilla everything off my computer because I was going to get a refresh of Firefox and I didn't make note of the key and I lost my account. So although I can title it Buzzweaver, the account is actually right here, youtube.com Buzzweaver. Really dumb, but anyway. So that is kind of just a brief outline of the state of the channel. You guys can leave me feedback here on this on uh, what you would like to see as far as live streaming I've got some more news about live streaming itself but I'm not at liberty to go into any of the any detail right now but I will let you know I, I, I know for example I can tell you that BitChute is considering doing some live streaming and so is Rumble so these two I would love for maybe them to go and do uh, live streaming but you know of course you gotta have a topic to live stream you just can't go on there but um you guys let me know down in the comments what you would like to see live stream. Are you, would you like to see me stream gaming? Maybe some live gameplay in Call of Duty. Some Civ 6 gameplay. Um, still keeping an eye on Pantheon. It's still in uh, pre-alpha. Uh, early pre-alpha because these guys get all tore up if you if you don't say exactly what state the game is in because they get all tore up. But to me, everything is early until it's released. So that's just, you know, it's pure semantics. But nonetheless, guys, uh, that is the state of the channel right now. Uh, I don't really have anything else that I can think of off the top of my head that, that, that I'm going to be doing this year that would be any different from any other year. I am working a lot harder to, to let people know on the different uh, 
sites, you know, what's going on and what I'm doing. So again, if you want to follow me on Gab, you want to come over to BitChute, uh, Parlay, once it's up, I'll give you guys links to that. Mines, Rumble, and Odyssey. These are some places that you can find me, and I might be doing some exclusive content on these. I'll let you know. But nonetheless, guys, I want to thank all of you for your continued support of the channel. I have lost about 400 views per day as a result of Parlay being down. So Parlay was really huge for me. I'm hoping a lot of those guys can come back. But appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon. If you are on YouTube, of course, you can click on that and select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel as well as the Friday vlog. And I will see you guys in the next video.